Welcome to another edition of Creek Carrier's Financial Education Series, Creek Carrier and Schaefer Trucking's podcast series that will help you manage and keep more of the hard-earned money you haul in. Hi, everybody. I'm Dave. I'm one of the creative producers at Creek Carrier. Yes, we have those creative producers. And joining us today are Kayla Moore, Educator in Retirement Plan Services for Union Bank and Trust here in Lincoln, Nebraska, and Kyle Check, who is a financial accountant here at Creek Carrier. Is that right, Kyle? Correct. Okay. Thanks for joining us. Appreciate it. We're going to be talking about uh, our future. Um, It's something that everybody wants to know about and have their hand in for sure. Let's just start with basics, Caitlin. How do you how do you decide to start a retirement plan, and what should go into that? Oh, that's a loaded question. How <laughs> um, how to start a I mean a retirement plan, or why? Um, there's several reasons why to start a retirement plan. A lot has to do with just your future plans. Do you want to work forever, or do you want to relax in retirement? What is your retirement going to look like? Are you traveling the world? Are you hanging out with your grandkids? So there's a lot of things that go into the retirement planning aspect, but also does your company offer it? I mean, Crate does, and they have a very generous plan. And so taking advantage of free dollars that are available to you is a great incentive to start a retirement plan, no matter what age you are, where you are in your career, just taking advantage of those dollars when you can. Yeah. I know a lot of drivers don't have a lot of time. They can't be on the phone yeah. because they're out on the road. Mm-hmm. They don't have time to research. They don't have hands for that because they're driving or whatever. Um, but when it comes to like their contribution rate, for example, can they change their contribution rate? What, what, what do they do and how do they, how do they get that done? Yeah. So contribution rates, you know, there's no answer to what is the best way to go about your contribution rate. There's no finite number. Financial gurus would suggest saving 12 to 15%. That would include any employer match, profit sharing, and your own contributions. So if we look at that as a whole number, then we can kind of decide, well, what is Crete going to do? What are, are they matching? They do. They have a very generous match. So taking advantage of all those match dollars is step number one. What is what, Where are they maxing out? Um, and then going from there, you know, can I get up to that 12 to 15% with the profit sharing also included in this plan at Crete? Um, it's They make it very, very easy they to do. reach those goals. Even if you're starting a little bit later in your career, in your life, um, reaching that 12 to 15 percent is not difficult here at Crete at all. That's good to hear. Kyle, let me ask you, because I I don't keep track of this stuff and and I work here and I should, but I I also know I can walk down to your desk and find out. But can I get a loan against my account at Crete? No, no, uh, there's there's no loans against the, the 401k accounts here. But there are abilities to get some hardships if if times are tough or things like that might come up. And I can let Caitlin comment more on that. I know she works with some of that through through the bank there at UBT. But. Yeah, we do allow hardships with this plan, meaning you could take money out for IRS um, kind of okayed reasons, which are natural disasters, um, maybe against your home. Maybe there's a tornado or a flood. You can get some money out of your account for that. Um, you pay for education, down payment on a house, medical bills, um, preventing eviction or loss of home. Um, there's very specific reasons to access dollars. And then when you're over 59 and a half, you do have, you do have more availability to get to your dollars. Um, but the reason that it's kind of locked up in your retirement account is simply so you don't spend it. So it's there mm-hmm. for retirement. That's what you have to keep in mind. Um, so we don't allow loans. But you can access if there's there's a major major issue, and that's okayed by the IRS. So you just do you do have to ask. You just give us a call. We'll kind of run down the situation and let you know if you're qualified or not, and let you know what kind of paperwork you need to do. And that's um, a higher tax rate as well, right? Um, well, we withhold taxes depending on what state you are from. We do hold, withhold um, federal, and then if you were under the age of 59, you would be um, charged a 10 percent penalty. That's an IRS rule. So you can kind of count on 30-ish percent taken right off the top. Um, but we can we can make it so if you need a certain amount in hand, we're taking out extra to cover those taxes and the penalty. But keep in mind that penalty is there. It's not something you're going to get back. It's just, right. um, you know, again, we're saving long-term. We're saving for retirement. So when we take it out early, there's that penalty involved um, as kind of an incentive to not take money out of your retirement account. That's That's kind of the goal there. Yeah, that's, that's a long-term plan. Yep, so if exactly. you 
fix a short-term emergency. That yes. that's going to happen. But there are emergencies, and that's yeah, why absolutely. the IRS allows those hardships. Um, just in case there is, because not everybody has extra supports, and this may be their only financial means to um, kind of fix that situation. So there are a couple of reasons why we could take money out. Now, can you invest in other options besides the CREEP plan? That's a, that's a great question. We get that question a lot as far as investments go. Can you invest anywhere else than what you're given as the options? The answer is no. Um, CREEP and UBT, um, UBT is the one – where I work, where we hold the retirement account, have decided jointly on the lineup that you have within your investment options. And there's reasons for these. They're they're mainly mutual funds. Those are very specific to long-term planning. Um, we're not day trading our retirement account. Therefore, we're looking at long-term options. And so Crete's, Crete's options for investments is very large. You have a large, diverse, hands-on opportunity to choose money market, bonds, international U.S. um, stock, but you can't go outside of that within the plan. Um, If the hands-on version isn't for you, we do have life cycle funds. Vanguard is kind of um, handing you a diverse package based on your age, and they're buying and selling on your behalf. It's kind of a one-and-done, hands-off version to invest if you're not. um, Which is nice if you don't want to put a lot of time and effort into research. Exactly. uh, just walk me through that real quick. Yeah. If you're 40 years old, they have a specific plan for you. But if you're 50 years old, that's a different plan. And it, it's it's a different way of looking at your long-term money. Yeah. So depending on your age, the younger you are, Vanguard, who runs these life cycle funds, would say the younger you are, the more aggressive you can be, the more risky you could be. Because you're going to go through several cycles of the ups and downs in the market and take advantage of that. When, it's, when we have a, a bad market, per se, Things are cheap. You're buying more shares at that point. So we're taking advantage of that with ongoing every two weeks, every month contributions, whatever the pay period schedule is. Um, But Vanguard on the flip side is saying, hey, the closer you are to retirement, the less risky we can be. We want to know once we get there, our money's there. We want to know how much we're budgeting with. Um, So what they're going to do is depending on where you start, every year they're going to back off on their U.S. and international stock exposure and shift that into bonds and money market. Um, They do this on your behalf, so you don't have to worry about it. So for me, I'm 37. Um, My plan, my package, in a sense, with Vanguard, I would be 90% in the stock market, both U.S. and international. Those retiring now are about 40 45% in the market, so half as much as mine, um, just based off a 30-year difference. Because they're saying, you know, if I'm retiring today, I, I need to know but there is still some stock exposure, hopefully kind of earning back what you're taking right, out. Right. So it's this nice little... Um, but you're tapering down the risk over ex- time. Exactly, so the closer you exactly. get to retirement, that money is more and more stable is, is the idea, right? And that's exactly the idea. And the great thing about it is you don't have to do anything. Vanguard's doing it all. Um, like I said, it's a set it and forget it. So I wouldn't have to... If I worked for Crete the rest of my career, I could set it on my the date that correlates with my birth date. And never touch it again until I retire and Vanguard's doing all the dirty work behind the scenes, which is really nice. Uh, You could also change it, though, anytime you want. So you don't have to stick with where you're at as far as investments go. We don't suggest day trading this account, meaning going online, making those trades every day. Uh, It's not designed to do that. But if, you know, you want you have a change of heart with your investments, want to move things around, you're free to do that online on your online account whenever you want. um, So you're not locked into that. Well, was, that kind of leads me into my next question, which is, um, you know, if Vanguard's taking care of everything for you the way that we have this set up, mm-hmm. um, you may not be in Vanguard. And if you're not, how do I know that I'm in the right investments? Are they actually working for me the way that they should yeah, be? Yeah, that, that's a great point. So I can't tell you if it's right for you. There's no, there's no way of knowing that. Um, a lot of things, if you're doing the hands-on version, you're picking your own options within the scope of what is given to you in the Crete plan. Um, There is a lot of options for you if you want to be super aggressive or if you want to be super conservative or safe. Um, We have options that are outside of the stock market. We've got heavily influenced stock market, mutual funds, you know, international trade in there, um, things like that. So it really we we like to say that investing is not about money. It's it's your emotions. It's it's a very emotional process, um, because if you're aggressive, if you're very risky, um, and you put all of your money in, say, U.S. and international mutual funds, and the market takes a dip, like it has fairly recently, um, you may see your balance go down. 
and it and it hurts. And you know, the closer you are to retirement, it's terrifying to see that. I, I get a lot of phone calls, and people are just scared because, hey, where'd my balance go? Well, it's not that the money is gone by any means. It's just your shares are worth less money at yeah. the moment. And so when the market rebounds, it'll go back up. Um, so there's no right or wrong. If that is hard for you to see a balance drop, you may want to be more on the conservative ends, more bond exposure, things like that. But if, if you're, you know, we would say the younger you are, the more riskier you can be. If you're in that category and you just want to dive into the stock market and be aggressive and see those, you know, increases and, and, and um, dips in the market, you have the option to do that. And it's, it's completely up to you to do that. There's no right or wrong answer. Couldn't tell you which which investment's going to make you rich. If I knew that information, I, was I would just tell gonna you. I say, maybe you should just write that down on the back of my notes <laughs> and just slide that across the table. That would be great. Well, if that was the case, I would I would be involved in those also. That's cool. We'll pull our money and then <laughs> exactly. we'll retire. Uh, Kyle, I wanted to talk real quickly uh, philosophically about retirement here at Crete. Ton talks about it a lot. Tim talks about it a lot. Money is really important around here. It's, it's not hauling in all the money. It's giving it away. They talk about it all the time. But they also talk about setting yourself up for the future and for your retirement. That's a really important message they try to drive home here, isn't it? Right. It sure is. And and you can tell by the the plans that are offered and the benefits that are available here that 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 they take that to heart and they really they really mean that. Um, we were talking about the the four hundred one k match earlier. You know, Crete matches ten percent on the dollar up to up to five percent of contribution rate. So um, you know when you're looking at putting in putting in um, your first contribution, you're wondering what that rate might be. If it's possible for you to get to that five percent, that's free money on the table for you. So try and take advantage of that if you can. And then, like Caitlin mentioned earlier, working up towards that 12 to 15 percent, you know, maybe you have an option to once a year bump that up by one percent until you get to that range you mm -hmm. want to be at. So it's built that way through the match to help you there. Also, a very generous profit sharing plan will help yes. boost that, that 401k as you go as well and, and help you reach those goals. Um, but uh, the more you can do to put in a little more as you can over time, the, the better results you're going to see in that area. Yeah. And it, I hear this all the time, not just from people around here at Creed and drivers, but you know, friends and family, they always want to put their money somewhere safe. Mm -hmm. where, do I, where do I keep my money where it's safe? Has anybody been watching the news the last two years? <laughs> I don't know where that would there be necessary. There is no safety net. And, and nothing's really, guaranteed. When we talk investments, yeah. nothing's guaranteed. There are safer options. Money market account, stable value fund, that's kind of like a savings account for your, for your 401k. It's not accessible like a savings account, but it's sure going to act like it. You're going to maybe earn 2% on a good year. Right. Good year. Right. Um, but that's there to preserve your balance. You know, if you really want to keep it safe, it's like having cash. We've got bonds. Those pay out, um, you know, in smaller increments of time, and you're going to get your money back, but you got to fulfill that time period in order to, to get those dollars back. So there is safer options, but I wouldn't say that there's any safe option where you're going to not see any sort of dip in your account balance when the market's down or, or a raise when the market's back up. So it's kind of, it's a hard question to answer because when it comes to investments, nothing is guaranteed and um, this, your safest option, safe means different to different people. Uh, you know, yeah, that's absolutely. That's another thing too. But with any market, whether it's yeah. 401k, mutual funds, whatever, if the Fed decides to make a move, mm -hmm. there's nothing you can do right. about that. Right. So Except wait it out. Wait it out. Wait or it out. were you set up in, in a conservative type of account where... You don't have to worry about that in the long term anyway. Yeah. Um, what would you recommend, by the way, as a percentage for 401k? I've always wondered, you know, starting off, yeah, you start off small and you build up. Yeah. And it's a little bit different here at Crete, though. What, mm -hmm. You want to walk through that? Yeah. I So 12 to 15 percent is always this target range that we're working mm -hmm. for because we're getting away from this idea that you need a million dollars in retirement. You really need... Experts would suggest more of a individualized 80% to 100% of what you're already spending now. You'll do that in retirement. We can't save all that. So that 12 to 15% over time hopefully gets you there. That's kind of a goal. We're getting away from dollar amounts more of a percent. So I would I always tell people I am not forceful about I, – I don't want you to go broke saving for retirement. That's not That's not the goal here. But I like to say step one, at least get the employer match. So that's with Crete, it's 10 cents on the dollar up to 5%. So if you can put in 5% to 
you are maxing out their match. So that's the most free money you're going to get from the match. So that would be step one. Step two is incremental, 1% a year, 2% a year. It's amazing how little 1% actually is. Um, in, if you get paid every other week, you make about $50,000. 1% is actually only $19 every two weeks. So if we really think about where we're putting $19, sometimes this is not a hard savings plan at that point to, to start putting that in your retirement account. So I just would say get the match and then work your way up 1%, 2% a year until you're at goal. Create with having the uh, profit sharing involved in that, um, though it's discretionary, it's kind of hard to pinpoint exactly how much that will be. Mm -hmm. But the longer you're with Crete, the more idea you get of what that looks like. And I know a lot of that has to do with longevity too, um, that profit sharing. But um, if we even take profit sharing out of it, start with that five if you can, work your way up from there. You know, you hear that from a lot of these high-profile financial people mm -hmm. that are not necessarily – bankers or traders or whatever that and they say well you sacrifice now you're gonna live like nobody else you don't yeah. necessarily have to do that you just have no. to consistently put a yes. little away yep i i always tell people the hardest part of retirement savings is starting that's when you're getting used to it coming out of your wallet your budget your right. paycheck the earlier you start the better especially in a new job if you could start right away start right away because you'll never get used to that paycheck having those dollars, it's it's always going to go into your retirement account. So the hardest part is starting. The increasing by a percent or two is usually not that hard, especially if you're getting a raise. So if you get a raise mid-year, throw a percent in your retirement plan, take the rest home with you. So you're always increasing what's in your bank, but you're also increasing what's in your retirement savings. Um, so again, that, that starting point can be really hard, but save what you can when you can. If you can't do the full five, start at a percent. You know, start with 1%. At least you're getting some free dollars from Crete and then just increase it from there. Yeah, it's the only free money you're ever going to get, right? right. Yeah. Right. <laughs> and I, I will mention, too, that um, we have an auto enrollment plan here. So when you start here, if you if you don't uh, choose to opt out of that plan, you'll automatically be enrolled at 3% if you didn't choose a percentage higher than that already. So if you hadn't chosen anything up front, you might already be at 3% and start it off there. And then it makes it easier to start that incremental process of going up 1% a year, yeah. get to that five first, and then keep going from there as you can. So um, that's kind of a good way to get you kickstarted as well, just with that auto enroll feature. Yeah. 3% yeah. of most jobs is not painful right off the top. Yeah, so exactly. yeah, especially it's if it's quick and, and here at, at Creed, it starts relatively quick. So you may not get used to too many paychecks um, before it's, it's starting to go into your retirement account, which is, okay. is really nice. I would be remiss if you were here and I didn't ask you, because this has actually started like food fights uh, during Thanksgiving <laughs> with my family. A, a traditional uh, IRA versus a Roth and which uh -huh. one actually makes you more money and which one's better for you. Yeah. Is there a real answer to that? <laughs> no, there's not. There's, there's pros and cons to both sides. So traditional or pre-tax versus Roth, that's how money's coming out of your check. That's what that means. Um, so traditional pre-tax is prior to taxes coming out, your gross pay, we're going to take out that, say, 3%, throw it into your account. You'll pay taxes on that later. Um, so it's a way to defer dollars, taxable dollars, into retirement. You don't have to worry about that now. A lot of people like that, you know, lowering their taxable income for the year while they're working in retirement. We'll take care of it then. The Roth is simply the opposite. We're going to tax those dollars now. Um, the perk to that is if you're at a lower tax bracket now, the whole goal is to pay the least amount of taxes. So, sure. you know, if Roth is going to pay off for you now, do that. But if your uh, Roth account, which you've already paid tax on those dollars, is open for five years within your retirement account, which is usually not hard because we're doing this for, you know, 30 years <laughs> right. at a time. But anything those dollars make um, off of in investments, so the earnings, are also tax-free in retirement. So the Roth can really pay off long term. You'll have a bucket of tax-free dollars that have grown substantially with investments over time. So you can dip into that. It's all tax-free in retirement. Um, then you have your pre-tax traditional bucket where you're going to pay taxes on those. That's actually where Crete's dollars go. Any match or profit sharing, you'll have a pre-tax bucket. They're not paying taxes on those. You will be responsible for that in retirement. But you can have both going on. I was just going to ask yep. you, you can do... A yep. little of each if you wanted to. So if you want to do 60% Roth mm -hmm. and not 
not pay, well, pay the taxes up front and then not pay when you yep. draw. We see that a lot. A lot of people, so, so picture yourself the umbrella over your 401k, over your retirement plan. And under that umbrella, you have some buckets of money. One is taxable, one is not. Um, you can fill those buckets however you'd like to. So Crete's going to immediately start filling your, your pre-tax bucket. But you can be throwing money in your Roth side. It's all under the same account balance. We're keeping track of it in the background of what's Roth, what's pre-tax. But in your account, it's going to look the same. It's invested the same way. Um, but those Roth dollars long term, where you'll be earning the interest off of those investments and really pay off. I have a lot of folks that say they're putting in 6%. They'll do three on pre-tax, three on Roth. So you can you can mix and match. And you could also change it. Every month, Creed allows you to change that. Um, so if you decide maybe you hit a new tax bracket, um, if you want to bump that over to pre-tax to save on that, you can you can change your contributions that way too. And Kyle, how do they do that? Yeah, the best way to do it, if, you, if you're already an existing employee and already have that set up, um, you can reach out to your fleet manager or stop at any terminal to get that salary reduction form, make a change that way. Um, if you're just starting, you'll get all that paperwork through orientation as well. Um, alternatively, you can always reach out to our benefits department via email at benefits at creekcarrier.com, and they can get you that paperwork as well to, to help you get that switched over. Fantastic. Thanks for helping us along the way, yeah. both of you, yeah. for helping us manage our future and our money. We really appreciate it. I think we're going to leave it there for today. Yeah. Um, but I want to thank you both for coming in and, and talking through that. It's it's something that seems difficult if you don't have any information, yeah. and it's really not that hard. And both of you guys help people through that process very easily. So thank you for being here. Appreciate yeah, it. Thanks for, thanks for having me. Just a reminder, there are other episodes in this financial education series. So make sure you check out Creek Carrier's YouTube channel. Thanks for joining us today. Drive safe.